We're going. Going okay? Yes. Hello. My name is Bob Thorne. I'm running with Jeff Boss uh, for the lieutenant governor position. Uh, I'm really disgusted with all the lies we're having to deal with about 9-11, TWA Flight 800, the two wars based on lies. I don't think we have to tolerate it anymore in this country. A lot of people have gotten killed. I knew a bunch of people that died on 9-11. I'm just fed up with all the lying. We, we need a new investigation. We need the people who have covered up these things to be stuck in jail after they were put on trial. We don't have to tolerate this type of thing anymore, in this country especially. It's just a terrible situation where they're subverting the Constitution. What's trying to take over this country is what's called communism. And that's what New World Order is, and it's going to take away all of our freedoms. We do not need that, and we don't have to tolerate that. And one of the other things I'll say is this might seem to be a little bit of a strange thing, but it really isn't. One of the most powerful things that we can do is for all of us to just sort of get together and with very good intention, say a prayer to God, if my people who are called by my name will for yeah, you know, turn from their wicked ways and pray and seek my face, then I will hear from heaven, I will clean their land. Believe it or not, if you ever saw the movie starring Charles Heston, The Ten Commandments, uh, they basically had very strong faith, the ancient Israelites, and they went to the Pharaoh, and Moses went to the Pharaoh, and he said, uh, we're getting out of here. And, and he just sort of laughed, and what are you going to do? We're going to keep you here. And he said, my people are getting out of here. And there was a lot of faith behind it. The ancient Israelites had a lot of faith. And then all of the things described, described in the Bible with regard to the Exodus did occur. The Nile River turned red, apparently it was anthrax, that killed the fish. The fish weren't able to eat the tadpoles. The tadpoles became the frogs and the toads. They came out on the land. There was the plague, then the locust, then right down to the Red Sea. There are a whole bunch of, uh, you know, scientists and rabbis and all kinds of historians who were going over there, and they find that these things actually did happen. Now, this is not magic. This is what's called supernaturally natural type of thing, and God can do those type of things. And when people pray to him with a very good intent that things be done right, and they really are sincere, it's the intention that that's what really happens. And believe it or not, a lot of ultra-sophisticated physicists, one of whom is this Dr. Claude Swanson, he got the undergraduate degree from MIT and the PhD in physics from Princeton, he and a lot of these other elite physicists are explaining all these things, why prayer works, why faith works. It's all a synchronized universe. We're in sync through quantum holograms with God. God is part of us. That's why when you think of somebody you haven't thought of for many years, they think of you, the next thing you do, you're meeting. But when people really pray with a great deal of intensity, that has a lot of benefits. I think that for us to go against the government with guns is looking for you know, a real disaster. They've got all the guns and, you know, we just get blown away. But if we do this type of thing and we have this sincere prayer for cleaning this land because it really needs a lot of cleaning, and then if we really go to protests and we say we're not putting up with it anymore, we try to straighten out our act, I'm certainly not perfect, nobody's perfect, uh, then God hears and this evil thing that's controlling this government of ours will be gone in the very near future. Um, Many, many things in the Bible turn out to be a lot more true than most people realize. Uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was actually Sumer. We've got to finish. Okay. And if you look up Zechariah Sitchin, it actually did occur. There was a very large thermonuclear explosion that took care of it, and they were having some problems in Sodom and Gomorrah. It was called Sumer. It was one of the Mesopotamian civilizations, and they had a lot of problems. Um, the other thing is that I believe in the, the Washington Jeffersonian types of very limited government and the people themselves participating to the greatest extent. And if rules seem stupid, then we have to get rid of those rules and replace them with something uh, that's much better. And if the politicians can't do it, then we just say, okay, we're doing it right now and we don't have to put up with this stuff anymore because we're getting back to the Constitution, we're getting back to the limited set of laws and everything like that. Another thing is, there's something that all of us do from the time, there are a lot of people who can't see the truth about what's going on. And one of the main reasons actually is something that the first three of the Ten Commandments, the Bible, talk about. You're not supposed to worship or give your allegiance to any graven images. You're not supposed to use any false oaths using the name of God. And basically, in this atheist materialist doctrine, New World Order, we're living in communism, basically we're all forced to say pledges of allegiance. 
and we give our allegiance to a flag, which is a graven image, and we're not supposed to do that because that takes our allegiance away from God. And then a false oath using the name of God, so one nation under God with liberty and justice for all. Do we have liberty and justice for all? No, we've got a lot of lying going on that we don't have to tolerate. So this is the most ancient brainwashing technique in the history of the world. It works very well. As you can see, a lot of people don't know the truth about anything, about, you know, about a lot of the things that are very serious that are going on in this world. And we need to give our allegiance to God and not to any graven images or any governments. If you give it to God and you do what's right, you know what the Ten Commandments are, then you've done you know, what's right. And some of the other obligation is to make sure that Politicians can't get away with lies, and we need to protest and just say we're not putting up with it anymore. We want to get this country back to the constitutional values that it originally had. And I could go on for a great deal of time, but Jeff's saying maybe we've got to hold this initial thing right here. And I, I do think that everybody ought to be participating in the government. I'm not taking any salary if I do anything stupid or wrong or go back any pro campaign promises or anything like that. I want to be removed from the job and somebody to replace me. But I'm not thinking so. I'm not going to go back on too many promises. <laughs> okay. Thank you.